Hey guys, welcome back to the Subtle YouTube channel. Today I am sharing five of my best makeup tips that I really wish I would've known sooner, specifically for helping my makeup routine as someone who likes to get ready really quickly and have a minimal makeup look, and as someone who has dry skin. This is only using four, maybe five products, and it took me like less than five minutes. So if you wanna learn what my tips are, just keep watching. So the first tip is when it comes to concealer, using a cream concealer that can be kind of like a pseudo foundation instead of like a full on actual foundation. Now this color is like a little bit light for my skin right now, but we're gonna just darken it back up with bronzer. But the reason that I love using a cream concealer is because as you can see, like I have red marks, okay? I do not have perfect skin by any means. I get acne and then when I don't have acne, I have acne scarring. For a while there, I was using like a real, you know, liquid foundation every single day. And truth be told, that just ended up causing more acne because I'm covering up my acne every single day. I'm not allowing it to breathe. I'm covering the entire surface of my skin. And obviously it's very time consuming and just looks like you have a full face of makeup. So when I became a mom, I really started using this concealer as my main go to and I love that it still covers up like what you need it to cover up. You see that? Like I can still create a more smooth like surface, but I don't have to apply it all over the face. And I like just going in with this tap, tap, tap motion. And I just love overall how it feels and looks more natural, but also gives me a foundation and like a base that I feel good about and I feel like is my own skin, but enhanced. Now the next tip is very similar and that is using a cream lip and cheek product. A, I love it because it is so quick and easy, but B, using a powder blush, I just feel like it looks like, I don't know, the finish is just not as youthful and not as glowy. So I love that a cream blush just makes your skin look so smooth and glowy and pretty, but just with an added extra pop of color. And then again, I'm a mom, I'm super busy, so I love using a lip and cheek because because it just ties the whole look together and I don't have to use multiple products. It just makes my makeup routine so much faster. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna use the four piece brush set and add some bronzer in. This is in the shade Leche. This wasn't an official tip included in this video, but I saw a TikTok recently talking about how people typically choose a bronzer shade that is too dark for them. I couldn't agree more. I think bronzer is just supposed to be like a few shades darker. That's why I prefer Leche over Latte. I can like use more of it more liberally across the face and it really just like adds depth and dimension without making your face look like muddy or like you have way too much bronzer on. This brings me to my next tip, which is just using bronzer and highlighter as your eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this highlighter in Gin Fizz. You can use a brush, but I like to use my finger. Are you kidding me? That's so pretty. Applying highlighter with your finger makes the glow and the highlight so much stronger. Put a little pop in the corner. And then for the bronzer, I'm gonna use this makeup brush just because it's my favorite. This is the dual ended eyeshadow brush from Subtle. This one's purple because it's the old version, but the new version is the same. It just comes in silver now, which is really pretty. Using bronzer as an eyeshadow, again, it's like the same concept as the lip and cheek when you just have the same colors all over your face. It's just a very pretty natural look. A little bit underneath the eye as well. I need to apply some highlighter to my cheeks, which brings me to my fourth game-changing makeup tip, and that is the dry brush cleaner. This allows you to quickly use one brush for all of your products. So this is the little brush that comes on the bottom of the stack. It's actually great for bronzer as well. I'm not sure what product I had on this last, but this dry brush cleaner is just this plasticky material and you just swirl it in the dry brush cleaner and it gets all the product right off. I'm that girl who is always using the same eyeshadow brush and I would never wipe off the color and then the old color would be on there and would be mixed in. So this just ensures that you're always working with a clean slate. That said, I'm gonna dip into the highlight. Just add a little bit. This color is gorgeous. Put some on the nose. 
And then we're gonna go into the dry brush cleaner again so that we can do the shine control powder. My final tip is the shine control powder only on the T-zone. Now I didn't use any type of translucent powder up until like the last year. That's because again, I have super dry skin. So anytime I would use a translucent powder, it would look super dry and cakey. This is the only one I found that is actually thin enough to like dull the shine down a little bit, but to not look cakey and look dry. And it still allows your skin to look super glowy. So I don't really have a ton of like shine I need controlled right now, but I'll usually, if I do go into the T-zone, I also live in the desert, so it's really hot. So even though I don't have shine right now, I will have shine if I just step outside for like literally less than 60 seconds. So see how there's kind of some shine in there. I'm just gonna dull that down ever so slightly. This also helps marry everything together. It helps the concealer not crease. See, I just like put it here and then maybe under the eyes. I don't know. I know some people like the baking and stuff and putting it all on your face. I really don't like that because it just cakes up. Also, if the highlighter is a little intense anywhere, you can add this over it and like you'll still have the glow, but it makes it look more like the glow is coming from within the skin rather than a product applied on top of the skin, if that makes sense. Then lastly, we gotta apply our lip and cheek. I like doing this as the final step. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of this lip balm on top. This is Strawberry Stopover. Oh, and the lip and cheek was Runway to Rose. This just gives it a little bit of a glow and adds some hydration, which I love. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara. This is the NARS mascara. I specifically really like the mini. Don't ask me why. It's like the consistency is actually a little bit different. I think I like it when it dries out a little bit and that takes longer in the big ones. So I really like the mini. Maybe I just like holding it really close to my eyelashes too. Also, this mirror is like perfection for putting on mascara because normally I'm like getting up way too close to the mirror, like over the sink and it's super uncomfortable, but I can just use my little subtle mirror. I love it. I'm gonna add a little bit underneath. Okay, there's the final look. I feel like this looks so pretty and I really hope that those five tips will help you in your makeup journey. If you wanna check out the Subtle Stack and shop the items that I used today, just head to subtlebeauty.com. You can customize your own. Don't forget to subscribe. We post new videos every Sunday.